everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new H&M haul. I'm just going to preface this video and apologise in advance to your bank balance because once you go onto H&M's website after you've seen what I've picked up, you're going to be doing a lot of damage. They have so many gorgeous pieces on their website right now. I feel like springtime is just when H&M comes alive. They have so many gorgeous pieces in at the moment for spring, summer. So many pieces that I'm just obsessed with. And I have done a rather large H&M haul full of so many gorgeous pieces that I can't wait to show you. And let me just say, this was me being restrained. This was me really trying to hold myself back because there were so many more items that I could have easily bought from there so many gorgeous pieces so I thought I would show you what I've been picking up what I'm going to be adding into my spring summer wardrobe of course we will be doing this as a try on haul if you're new around here and you don't know me personally hi my name is Ellie and I'm so excited to have you here in terms of size reference and height reference I am a size 10 on top and I'm a size 12 on bottom and I'm five foot exactly in height so hopefully that just helps you out in terms of knowing what items to pick up in what size what's going to suit you whether to size up whether to size down really just helps you out when doing your own little H&M haul. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this and I can show you what I've been picking up from H&M for spring, summer. Now I'm going to start with something that I feel like is really tricky to show you, especially because I'm wearing all black and it is all black, but you'll be able to see what this looks like in the cutaway really, really well. It is a dress that H&M actually first released last year and they've like redesigned it and brought it back with just a few slight tweaks. So it's this absolutely gorgeous kind of tie detail with like a little cut out midi dress and they brought this out last year in a mini and in a midi and I didn't manage to get my hands on it last year so I'm so excited about the fact that they have brought it back this year and I managed to get my hands on it now I picked this up in a medium and it fits really really nicely one of my favorite things about these kind of like tie details on the bust is that you can adjust it however big or small your bust is so no matter what bra size you are it's going to fit you and it holds you in really really nicely you don't have to wear a bra you don't have to strapless bar anything like that with it. it just fits really beautifully I love the fact that it's this kind of like linen-esque style because it makes it very spring summer appropriate sometimes black can be a little bit tricky to style up in spring summer but I find that if it's like a linen material or linen like material it makes it a lot more wearable so I have a feeling this is going to be a dress that I wear a lot throughout spring and summer because I'm already so obsessed with it I am just utterly obsessed with this dress. It is so, so gorgeous. I really like the kind of subtle changes that they've made to this compared to the one last year. I can't remember exactly how the fit of the skirt was last year, but I think it was a little bit tighter than this. This is quite loose, which I really like, and it's a really nice length. I feel like it goes perfectly with just like a little pair of slides. I'm just wearing my little Chloe slides. I think just like a little basket bag would be perfect. I think they've also made the sleeves a little bit longer. I think I remember the sleeves being a bit shorter, like above the elbow last year. I quite like them being longer. I think it makes it a little bit more mature. Um, and what they've also done is they've added this is actually elasticated now, this waist. I don't think it was last year. And it's actually quite loose on me. I could have probably gone down to a small, but I wonder if I'd gone down to a small, it wouldn't have fit in my hips. So yeah, I think a medium is the perfect size and it's quite nice it being like loose because it means there's lots of room there. I don't feel like it's being tight at all. Um, and you just get this little tiny pop. I always feel like this is the most flattering part of your stomach. So I really like it when tops just like give a little bit of midriff here because I find that very, very flattering. And I really love the tie detail around the bustier because you can just cinch it in as tight as you want. You don't have to worry about wearing a bra. No matter how big or small your bust size is, it will always Fit. and it just looks so nice with like necklaces I've got my Monica Vinader jewelry on at the moment which I do still have my discount with them so if you want to get 20% off Monica Vinader jewelry use the code Ellie 20 I'll leave the link down below for you guys as well but I just think this is the kind of dress that I'm going to live in in spring it's so comfortable so easy to wear it's really lightweight with a kind of linen-esque material I absolutely love this so expect to see this on the feed and on my YouTube a lot over the next coming months because I am definitely going to get my wear out of this. Now the next dress is a very me dress it's this gorgeous little blue ditzy floral midi dress and this actually really reminds me of a dress that I picked up from Mango about maybe two years ago that I still have in my wardrobe now I still wear to this day and I always get so many questions about it so if you liked that Mango dress this is a perfect alternative for you it's absolutely 
gorgeous. It's got these really dainty little ditzy floral details running through it, which I just think makes it so wearable. What I really like about it is this ruched waist. I always find with these kinds of dresses, having a cinched in waist makes such a difference to your silhouette. Like it's really flattering, it really pulls you in, and it's really elongating on your figure. So I just fell in love with it. Now I'm looking at it, and it's a little bit big. I picked it up in a medium, and it is looking a little bit loose, but we'll have to see what it looks like on. But I just think this is such an easy dress to wear in spring, summer. It's the kind of dress that no matter what the occasion, no matter what you're doing, you're going to be really comfortable, it's really breathable, and you'll still look really pulled together. And that is my favourite kind of dress to reach for in spring. Okay, such a shame, but this dress is actually huge. I was definitely right. And I picked it up in a medium. Is there a pocket? No, there's no pocket. I picked it up in a medium, and I'm normally a solid medium on H&M. Like, that's always the size I usually go for in their dresses. And it normally fits fine, but this is just very oversized. So if you are looking to get this, I would say size down, because all it needs is just a little bit like that makes such a difference but obviously it's just far too loose and it means the elastic is not even tight on my waist but I do really love it I think it's a great alternative to my mango number that I picked up a few years ago I always get so many questions about that and I do wear that all the time I find this ditzy floral print is really easy to wear especially if you don't know the dress code you're not really sure what everyone else is going to be wearing you just want to be pretty and comfortable it's a great option for that so I do really really like it but just to note if you are looking to pick it up definitely size down next up I picked up something that's a little bit different for me but I saw it on the website and I kind of fell in love and it's this really gorgeous corset style top now corset tops are so in at the moment they are just so cool so trendy they're a great nod to the y2k trend without going full y2k like i think we all know i'm not exactly the biggest y2k girl around here i don't wear low-rise jeans and like little crop tops but this is a great nod to that trend while still staying really true to like my personal style the way that i'm kind of envisioning this is either with like jeans that's kind of the the common way that i've seen these kind of styled up with like high-waisted jeans i think would be really cute maybe high-waisted trousers or I think like a really gorgeous midi skirt. I was really hoping to wear this actually with my H&M midi skirt, but that one's a bit too cream and this is very white. Like this is a perfect white. So I'm either gonna have to invest in a new little midi skirt or see how else I can style this up. But I just thought this was a really cute little purchase and a great way to kind of incorporate a trend into your wardrobe and give a little nod to it while still staying really true to yourself. So I really, really love this. Okay, so this is how I kind of envisioned wearing the corset top. As you can see, it definitely does not work color-wise with the skirt, but in terms of the silhouette and the shape, I think it's really pretty. I think with any kind of like midi floaty skirt, it would just look absolutely beautiful. I love the silhouette of this. It's not actually got really structured boning. Like this is kind of flexible, which is quite nice because it means that it's a lot more comfortable to wear than other corsets that I've tried on. I really love the shape of this. I love the silhouette that it gives you like a really tiny waist. And I think with anything kind of high waisted, it would look really, really nice with. I think we also did this in black. So I will link that down below. I think I might need it in black. So I think that would make a really nice jeans and a nice top kind of a top I think that'll be a really nice evening look so I would definitely recommend picking this up and it is very true to size I got it in a 10 I think I'll leave it linked down below if not um check the description box just to make sure but I think I got this in a 10 which is pretty true to size to me and it's a really really nice fit next I picked up some shoes now I saw these on the website and I fell in love but looking at them in real life it's gonna have to be a case of trying them on because my main concern with these is your toe butt. Like, you know the gap between your toes when it just shows a little crack of that at the bottom of your shoe? I find that so unflattering. Literally looks like you've got a butt on your toe and I am not about that vibe, but I really liked these. They're a really cute little pair of flats, slingback shoes, very Dior inspired. I absolutely love the Dior slingbacks, but my budget does not afford for it right now, but I just thought these would be really cute, especially if you're wanting to wear something a little bit more formal, a little bit more elegant, but you're not looking for heels. I think this is a great option. I believe they also did them in black. I just thought nude was a little bit more springtime, a little bit more spring summer-esque. So we'll have to try these on see how they look see how i'll be able to style these up but these could be a great addition into my spring summer shoe collection well the good news is that we have no toe butt i'm so happy with how these look i'm literally haven't taken the um <laughs> elastic off i've just styled them up with this dress and i love how they look 
look i think they are so feminine and so elegant i really love them actually and they're really comfy i've tried some um like pointed toe shoes in the past that have been so uncomfortable like i've gotten such bad blisters these feel really super comfy i think it really helps that the back is stretchy so i think I need the black as well. I really love the new, but I think I also need the black. So I'll link both down below. Hopefully they're still in stock. If you guys buy them before me, I'm going to be so livid. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a girl that loves a puff shoulder sleeve? These kinds of dresses are just my favourite thing in spring and summer. Now I picked up this one and this is going to be a little bit of a test because they didn't have my size in stock. They only had a small, they didn't have it in a medium. So I thought I would trial the small, see what it looks like. Because one thing I do really love about these like shirred bodice dresses, they're very stretchy. So they're really easy to wear, they're really comfortable. And it does mean you can fluctuate in size a little bit. So we'll have to see what it looks like on. But I just fell in love with this little floral pattern. I absolutely love florals in spring. I'm I mean florals for spring groundbreaking but they really are just such a timeless classic for this time of year i think they just look so gorgeous so seasonally appropriate so dainty and floral and feminine it's just my favorite thing in the world and i quite like the fact that this was actually a bit more of a mini i feel like it makes it a little bit more like cutesy feminine like girly i thought it was really really cute and this i totally imagine is like a little bit of a weekend dress something where you just want to be really casual really comfortable on like a saturday or sunday if you're going around to your families seeing some friends i thought this was such a cute little addition okay now this dress is absolutely adorable i love how it looks luckily the small fits are just fine that is what i really love about these sheared bodice like stretchy dresses you can literally wear any size basically and it looks really cute the only thing i'm unsure about is the length i feel like it's a little bit of an awkward length obviously it's not from the petite section so i was expecting it to be a little bit long but i'm not sure if it's too long on me let me know your thoughts but i just adore the little flowery print the cute little puff sleeves i think it's really really flattering and such an easy dress to reach for for spring summer so Mm, the more I'm looking at the more I do like it I think I am going to keep this one because it's just such an easy dress to reach for the kind of thing that I wear at the weekends when I just want to be comfortable just want to relax but still want to look really super chic this is the kind of dress like that for me H&M seem to have bought a lot of this print because I've seen this in tops skirts dresses and these trousers online and I thought I wanted to give them a try because they looked really cute now I'm not gonna lie online they looked a little bit more of like a linen style they're very cottony, they're very jersey, and they kind of feel a little bit like jammies. And I'm a little bit worried that it's going to look like I'm wearing my jammies outside. So we're going to have to see how I can style these up and if I can make these work. Because looking at them, I'm just really unsure if it's going to look like I'm wearing my PJs outside. But I really love the ditzy floral detail to it. I think it's such a cute little detail. I think they actually also have this in like a matching top and skirt. So I'll link that down below as well because I thought that would be a really cute little addition into your wardrobe. So let me know what you think about the trousers. Do they look like pajamas to you? Do you think I can get away with wearing them outside? Let me know down below. Okay, what do we think of the trousers? I'm really unsure because I do kind of like how they look like on, but I'm also like... Do they just look like I'm wearing pyjamas? Because they do kind of feel like I'm wearing pyjamas. They don't have pockets or anything. And they are actually a little bit loose. I think I picked them up in a medium. And they are a little bit loose around the waist. But I do worry that if I went down a size, they wouldn't fit in like my thighs. So yeah, lengthwise, they're actually quite a nice length. I'm just wearing with them with flats. And they kind of just hit the ground, which I don't mind. I kind of like it when trousers do that. Especially like wide leg, long trousers. But... I'm just really unsure if I literally look like I'm wearing my jammies. So let me know down below. Do we keep these? Do we return them? I need your help. And if there's one thing that I love H&M for, it's their basics. I always pick up so many basics from H&M. What I will actually do is I will link down below just their basic collection. Because they do actually have a dedicated section to some of their basics. So make sure to go and check that out if you're looking for any new t-shirts, racers, tops. Really basic, simple items that you reach for time and time again in your spring wardrobe. But something that I realized I was missing actually from my basic wardrobe was a beige racer vest. This is like a really gorgeous nudie kind of skin color. And I don't have anything like this in my collection. I have black, 
I have white, but I don't have anything this colour. And I thought this was just so gorgeous and would go with so many items in my wardrobe. You guys know I have a very neutral wardrobe in spring, summer. And one thing I do sometimes struggle with is that I do find that white is too stark and black is too black. Sometimes I want something in the middle, especially when I'm pairing it with like creams or beiges or neutrals. So I thought this could be a really, really nice addition, something that I could style up with a lot of different items, a lot of different colourways, and for a lot of different occasions, I wear racer vests all the time. I just think they're so classic, so timeless, and such a staple in your spring wardrobe. Right, so I've just chucked the top on with a pair of H&M tour trousers that I featured in a haul quite a while ago now, but I just love how they look paired together. It's like seriously giving me clean girl aesthetic. I love the look of this. The colour is gorgeous. I think it sits really nicely on my skin tone. I do think you need a bit of a tan to be able to pull off this kind of colour, but I do have fake tan on at the moment, so I am really, really loving it. And I just love, one thing that I really enjoy about the H&M racers is the way that this falls. I found with other racers in the past, like some from Zara or like ASOS, they come down really wide here, and you get this roll around your bra strap. So I really like it when racers come all the way to your underarm. I think that's so much more flattering. But I I really like how this looks. This is just such a simple, easy to wear spring outfit. This is the kind of thing I reach for all the time for just like weekend at spring styling. I'm absolutely loving it. And I just think it's the perfect color. It really is the color I'm missing from my Racer Vest collection. So I'm absolutely in love with it. And I couldn't resist picking up the same Racer Vest in black. I did actually add the black, the beige and the white into my basket, but I thought I couldn't, couldn't justify getting all three. I'll just pick up the two, but a black Racer Vest really is classic in your spring summer wardrobe. I wear these a lot with denim as well. Just like blue jeans and a black racer vest is such a simple outfit but looks really pulled together. I feel like a racer vest is the epitome of the clean girl aesthetic. And I really, really love that. I think it's just so simple, so timeless and so elegant. So I will link down below to the H&M at racers because you definitely need to add them to your wardrobe. And of course, we've got the black as well. I just love these. They really do sit so nicely here. I don't have any roll. I don't have any worry. I don't feel like I'm going to fall out at all. And the length is really nice. Like they're just cropped. So they sit so nicely with high-waisted trousers. They just kind of tuck in perfectly. So I really do love these kinds of racer vests. I get so much wear out of them. I wear them all the time. They are such high quality. So if you're looking for some new racer vests, H&M is the place to go. And then lastly, I picked up this absolutely gorgeous linen style dress. Now they actually had these in kind of two pattern colorways. So they've got the plain black and they also had in a gorgeous like yellow ditzy floral kind of number. So I will link to both down below because I feel like they could both be such gorgeous dresses. I decided to pick up the black so I thought it might just be a little bit more versatile and especially because it still has that linen fabric. It makes it very spring summer appropriate but I feel like you could style this up maybe a few more ways. I really, really love the look of this dress. It's got this gorgeous like ruching detail around the sleeves and then it's got this little tie back which I thought was so, so cute. It's like a midi length and it's just got like a really nice floaty skirt. I really love these dresses for spring summer because I'm the kind of person that I don't like to have too much skin on show in spring summer. I don't like wearing like mini shorts and like little itsy bitty skirts. And I don't like having midriff on show but I feel like having a little bit of back on show is a really elegant and classy way to show a little bit of an extra skin. But obviously because it is a midi style you are still covered up in that area. So I think it's a really really nice one for spring summer. It's quite a lightweight material but it is double lined so you don't have to worry about it being too see through, you don't have to worry about it like you know being too cold. I think this is a great one to take you from spring into summer. It's such a gorgeous dress. I just love H&M for their dresses. I feel like their dresses are so timeless. They last you year on year on year. I've got so many dresses in my wardrobe from H&M that are two, three, even four years old. So what I will do as well is I will just link down below to H&M's dresses. Check out their new end dresses, guys. They are absolutely gorgeous. So perfect for spring and summer. Oh my goodness. I am literally living my best spring summer life in this dress. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's so comfortable. It's the kind of dress where you don't feel like you're wearing anything at all. It's so super lightweight. A lot lighter weight than I actually thought it was going to be on. Like because it, it's obviously double lined, I thought it'd be a little bit thicker, but this is a full on summer. Like this is going to be a perfect heat wave dress, which fingers crossed we're going to have a heat wave soon. Um I really like the length. 
it's like a, such a nice just pokes out your toe like you just see a little bit of shoe which I really really like I think it's gorgeous and then at the top you've got the gorgeous like frills the gorgeous details I absolutely love it now I picked this up in a medium and I'm wondering whether to go down to a small just because it's a little bit loose around this area and because it's so flowy around here I think I can probably take a small but I love this open back detail I think it's so so gorgeous I love an open back for spring and summer it's just beautiful so think I might exchange this for a size down so it's just something to know is that if you've maybe got a mid to smaller bust you might want to consider a size down this if you've got a bigger bust than me then you'll be absolutely fine to take your true to size but I just think this is gorgeous I want to pick up the yellow one now as well I think I need both <laughs> So that was everything that I have been picking up from H&M for spring and summer. I did warn you this was a big old haul. So I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I've been picking up. Hope it was really helpful to see all the try-ons, seeing what they look like in terms of length, size, what fit I've been picking up. All of the links will be down below in the description along with the size that I picked up just in case I missed any of the sizes as we went through. But if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what your favourite item from the video was down below in the description box and if you're new I would absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button we've got so much more fashion lifestyle and beauty content coming your way this spring so you don't want to miss it make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next one bye